In this video, I'm going to show you how to mask and completely cover up wood paneling. When I am finished, you won't even be able to tell it's there. In this tutorial, I am using joint compound, a hammer along with some prying tools, a putty or drywall knife, an assortment of painting supplies, interior latex paint, and a heavy duty sealer and stain blocker. The first step I'm going to do is get a broom or a shop vac and clean up all of the corners of any cobwebs and dirt. Next step, with soap and water, clean all the walls and the paneling. Next step, rinse off with plain water. Next step, I'm going to remove this trim that goes along the wall. So to do this, I'm going to get my spackle knife, slip it under, get it past any nails. Then I'm going to come next to it and just start crying out a little bit. Once you get enough so your pry bar can fit in, pry out some more. So now just continue to work your way along the trim until you get it all removed. This wall is an interior wall, so I know there are studs on the other side. So I'm just gonna feel where it is solid. It's like right here, it'll, it'll be very obvious where there is not a stud. So it'll be able to push in quite a bit. So the stud is roughly right here. So I'm going to drive a screw in right here. I'm just going to drive it slightly past flush, not too far, but you don't want it sticking out. While I'm moving the trim on this wall, I noticed that this is actually drywall. They just put a panel directly over the drywall. So if this happens to you, this is actually very lucky. So to remove this, you just pry it out because it's just held on with nails just like the trim was. If there are any outlets, you just remove the cover and you'll be able to pull it off. Looks like they actually just glued it straight to the drywall. Okay, maybe I'm not so lucky after all. I'm going to have to skim coat all of this damage from the glue, and it looks like they left all the joints unfinished, so I'm going to have to tape all of those. Since there's a chance that you might run into something like this, I'm going to do a quick time lapse showing how to repair this. This is where drywall is meeting up directly to the paneling at an odd angle, so there's this big gap in here. I'm going to show quickly how to fix this. Now just let this dry. Now that the joint compound has dried, I, all I have is a wet sponge. I'm just gonna go along right here and smooth it out. Now I'm just gonna put some more joint compound across the whole thing and fan it out on each side. Now I'm just gonna let this dry. Just dry, take the sponge again and smooth it out like before. Here's a joint once it's been completely smoothed out. Next, I'm going to fill all of these grooves with the joint compound. So I have a relatively wide knife. This is about a four inch. So I'm just going to scoop a little in here. Just scoop it in there like this. That's all there is to it really. So just do this across all of the grooves. Fill them in, don't leave any voids. And make sure to do a finish pass like this so it's smooth once you're done. Once the joint compound has dried in these grooves, you will need to put another very small layer over this. The reason behind this is because as this dries, it shrinks slightly, and if you put paint over this with just one layer, you'll be able to tell obvious dips where the groove is. After the second layer of joint compound has dried, I'm going to get the wet sponge and do a quick wipe over everything. This is to make it level if there are any raised edges. Now I'm going to repair any holes that might be in the paneling, so I'm just going to press them in like this with the end of my joint compound knife. Just smooth it out a little bit. Then with a tiny bit of the joint compound, just pull it in like this. The seams where the panels meet, there's a big gap right here and they can move independently of each other. What happens if you fill this with a joint compound, it'll immediately crack. You can see this is a very old fill. This is probably done in the 80s sometimes. 
but it definitely will crack like this and there's nothing you can really do about it other than put actual tape on here and finish it like it's drywall. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. Now just let this dry, just smooth that with a wet sponge. Now with a large drywall knife, apply more of the joint compound. Now to thin it out, I clean off the drywall knife on this side of the joint. I'm going to press down as much as I can right here on this side. And feather it out like this. Like off any of the joint compound. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Apply pressure on this side. And do this the full length of the joint downward. Now just let this dry and wipe it with the sponge to smooth everything out. This is what the joint should look like once it's smoothed out. You shouldn't be able to tell that there are any ridges in it. This might not be required on your walls, but where the trim was meeting the painted wall, there's a big layer of paint. So now I'm going to sand that down with a sanding sponge. At this point, the wall should look something like this. All the grooves should be filled in a paneling, and any ridges should have been sanded down. Now it's time to apply the primer. So open up your can and mix it up. Also to reduce the number of top coats you will need, something like this Kills Premium can be tinted. It suggests tinting it slightly lighter than your top coat color. Tinting it will reduce the number of top coats you will need. Now apply a very heavy layer of primer to the paneling and anywhere you might have done drywall work. Now just let the primer completely dry. After drying, the first coat was not enough to completely mask the panel, so I'm gonna put on a second coat. Now that the primer has completely blocked the paneling from coming through, I'm just going to paint like normal. And here are the walls after painting. Some lessons I learned is apparently under the trim, there is a tape of some sort. I'm guessing it was double-sided tape when it was first installed. I didn't realize this with just the white primer on this, but it definitely shows if you put a darker color on it. So lesson learned in this case, if you have double-sided tape like this, you could try to skim over it with a very thin layer of the joint compound and then feather it out and you won't be able to see this. Or you could just try to remove it. It'll probably be easier just to skim over it though. Also, if you're like me, you should be able to reuse the trim. All I did was paint it white and it actually looks really good. Once I get flooring in in a couple weeks, this room will look very good, much better than it was before. For reference, this is what the room looked like before. And that is how to cover up and mask wood paneling. If this video is helpful, please like and subscribe.